This is a beam outback solar panel, an 11 watt solar panel designed to charge your phone or any other device when you're in the outback or anywhere where there's nowhere to plug a charger in. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right, you can get these on Amazon, they're about 150 bucks. A beam 11 watt outback, they also come in 6 watt and 20 watt and I'm not sure what other sizes. Let's open the box. Inside the box there is paperwork and the solar panel. That's the solar panel. It's quite big. On the back of the solar panel is a little pouch and in that pouch there is a couple of carabiner clips so that you can hang the solar panel from your, your bag if you're hiking and you just wanted to charge in the sun while you're bushwalking or you can just hang it from a tree or just in case you might need them. There's also a charger cable. It's USB to lightning cable for Apple iPhones and or USB-C. Now, oh sorry, micro USB, lightning cable or micro USB. Now in this video, when I'm gonna put this through its paces, I'm gonna charge my phone, but my phone requires USB-C. So I've had to BYO cable. That's a Rode microphone video charging cable. <laughs> microphone charging cable, but it fits my phone. Anyway, also in the pouch, there's a USB port, a tiny little USB port down there. So there's no power pack. This doesn't charge a power pack as such. It just charges directly from the sun to your phone or any other device. On the box here, it lists some examples. Mobile phone, PlayStation controller, a square thing, a camera, a watch, and a power bank. So you can charge power banks off here as well. Right, now this isn't gonna be a long video, it's just gonna be a test. Let's go and plug this USB-C cord into the USB port, stick it in the sun, and see if we can get my phone to charge. Right, now it's not a particularly warm day here today in sunny lockdown Victoria. It's beautiful and sunny, but only about 12 or 13 degrees. So let's plug the USB into the USB port. I'll flip that over. I don't know whether my uh, camera will pick this up or not, but my phone is currently, it's not gonna show it. My phone is currently on 56%. 56% at 12.42. Let's plug it in. It is, I can barely see it in the bright light. It is charging 56% at 12.42, and I'll sit that under there so that it's not in the direct sunlight. Right folks, 56% at 12.42. Let's leave that for a while and come back a bit later and see how much charge this 11 watt beam solar panel has put into my phone. Rightio, I'm back. This was 56% at 12.42. It's now 1.54 and it is 82%, 56 20, it's kind of 26% in an hour and 10 minutes. That's a good result, I'm happy with that. Rightio, now let's talk about the results. It went from 56% to 82% in one hour and 10 minutes. So that's, a re that's an increase of 26%. So in a bit over an hour, it went up a bit over a quarter. So you'd be looking at about four hours or a little bit over for a full charge. That's on a day that's been probably 95% sun. We had a couple of clouds go over, but they were brief. So 95% sun. So you're looking at about four hours for a full charge. This is a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. It looks like it's got a broken screen, but it hasn't. It's only the tempered glass that's broken. Now, I've written a few things down on here, a few footnotes. It hasn't got a USB-C port. It's only USB-C. Sorry, it's only just straight USB. So I'm using USB to USB-C. I can't help but think that if I could have gone USB-C to USB-C, it would be quicker. Also... It's, uh, this is not a, a Samsung cord, this is a Rode cord, one of my Rode video microphones. So it's not the proper cord. And as I always say, if you use the proper cord to expect, expect the best results, you should use the proper cord. This is the 11 watter, I'll grab the box. This is the 11 watt beam power pack and on Amazon they are $145. You can get a smaller one. This is the same thing, but it's a six watter. I'll tell you how I got to get these in a minute. 
this is the six water so it will be slower but it will also be more compact and a lot lighter and it'll be easier it'll be lighter in your backpack it'll take longer to charge anything but it will also take up less space in your backpack if you happen to be hiking and then there's a 20 water. I've got a, I've got a 20 water as well, but it's out on loan to a friend who's gone to Lake Yeldon at the moment. It charges things faster, but once again, it's bigger. The 11 water is $145. The 6 water is $110, and the 20 water is $230. Now, I'll tell you how I got to get these. Some of you may remember I filmed a, uh, a product review for Ozolio about 12 months ago. These were given to me then. They were given to me as a way of saying thank you for doing the Zolio review. There was never an expectation to use these or review these. I could have flogged them off on eBay if I'd wanted to. I use the 20 water quite a lot. I haven't used the 11 water because I've got the 20 water and I have used the 6 water a couple of times when I've been out the bush. So they were sent to me. I didn't buy them but they weren't sent to me for a product review. That's just something that I've decided to do because I'm in lockdown and I haven't got much else to do to be quite honest. But anyway folks, if you've got the 11 watt beam outback solar panel, you can expect it to charge your phone in around about four hours, give or take a few things, depending on what cord you're using and what type of phone you're charging. But either way, one thing you can be sure of is that it will definitely get you out of trouble. If you're out the bush somewhere with nowhere to charge your phone and you need to charge your phone or GoPro batteries or anything, they will absolutely get you out of trouble.